Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet an easy dishcloth. So let's get started. I'm going to use some crochet cotton and a 5mm crochet hook. Start with chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to slip stitch to join in the first stitch and form a ring. And there's the ring. Chain 2. And that will take the place of the first double crochet. So I'm going to make two more double crochet. So one, two, okay. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to make three double crochet. One, two, three. And I'm going to chain one. Three more double crochet. One, two, three, chain one, and three double crochet. I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to find my chain two, and I'm going to slip stitch to join. Okay, so that's the first row, and now I'm going to chain two, one, two, and that's going to take the place of this first double crochet. So then I'm going to double crochet in each of the next two double crochets. And this is going to be a corner stitch, so I'm going to make two double crochet, one, two, chain one, two double crochet, one, and two. Okay, so there's the corner. So now double crochet in each of these three double crochets, one, two, three, and in this chain one space I'm going to make another corner stitch, two double crochet, one, two, chain one, two double crochet, one, and two. Now double crochet in each of these three double crochet stitches, And in this chain one space, I'm going to make a corner, two double crochet, one, two, chain one, two double crochet. Double crochet in each of these three double crochet stitches, make a corner stitch in this stitch. And I'm going to find that first chain two, slip stitch to join. And that's the second row. So now every row will be exactly the same. It will be chain two, double crocheting each stitch up to the chain one space, make a corner stitch in the chain one space, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, double crochet all the way to the next corner, make a corner stitch, Double crochet, make a corner stitch, double crochet, corner stitch, double crochet in the remaining stitches, slip stitch to join. So chain two, double crochet in each stitch up to the corner stitch. Corner stitch, one, two, chain one, one, two. Now double crochet up to this chain one space. Make a corner stitch in this chain one space, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to complete all the way around. Double crochet, corner stitch, double crochet, corner stitch, double crochet, slip stitch to join. Okay, I finished that row. I'm just going to do a few more rows and then I'll come back and show you how to do the border. Okay, I've gone ahead and worked a few more rows. I have a total of six rows and you could just continue on with the same color but I'm just going to change to a red 
to make these a little bit Christmassy to start a new color you simply pull the new color through the last stitch worked just tighten up those two stitches take one chain stitch with both the yarn end and the working yarn lock it in place take one additional stitch and I'm just going to work the same stitch pattern all the way around so double crochet in each stitch up to the corner stitch and then make a corner stitch in the chain one space I'm going to go ahead and do that okay I worked all the way around in red and you could stop here but I'm just going to add another little border and I'm going to bring my white back up through so I'm going to attach my white yarn and I'm going to chain three one two three single crochet in the next stitch chain three one two three single crochet in the next stitch and I'm going to continue that all the way around so three one two three single crochet in the next stitch I'm going to go ahead and finish that all the way around because I see my camera is flashing that it's out of storage space so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to chain three single crochet in the next stitch all the way around okay I worked all the way around making chain three single crochet in the next stitch and now you can just weave these yarn ends back and forth into the finished work there's an easy washcloth that you can crochet thanks for watching bye for now